Hello everyone, I am Third Mario Brother, and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we completed absolutely everything that we can currently do in the game. Or do in the game ever, actually. We completed everything in Super Mario Sunshine, except for this final area, Corona Mountain, and the final boss of the game. In this episode, we are going to be completely finishing up Corona Mountain once and for all. And finding out who is at the end of this volcano. Who has been causing us all this torment besides Bowser Jr. Or Shadow Mario. Whichever you want to call him. Alright, let's go ahead and go across here. And I remember this place being a lot easier than it actually is. Um, as a kid, I could get through here without any trouble. And it seems I did that this time as well. But last time it gave me a particularly large amount of ire. And on this part, a lot of people have given me advice. And I know, I think I stated this as well in the last episode. Slow and steady wins the race. Be very, very patient here. And you should be able to make it through everything. But if you go even a little too fast, you'll set yourself on a course for destruction. Now over here, there's this block with these sprinklers, so if you're running out of water as you're approaching it, just go ahead and go near it and you can refill completely. Uh, that's a little gift that they gave you, a silver lining to the darkness, I guess. But um, it also acts as an obstacle, so don't get too close to it. I'll go ahead and try to refill here, just as an example. And there we go. But, like I said, be careful, don't get too close to it. And in the last part, I pointed out a logical um, fallacy, if you will. How is this boat not melting? But here's another thing. Mario is currently inside an active volcano. First of all, you would not be able to breathe because of all of the fumes and the smoke and everything. And second of all, how is he not, like, dead from heat stroke or melted or lit on fire or anything himself just from being on here? Like... Ah, whatever. Why do I even question such things? Anyway, over here we have the rocket nozzle. And it looks like we're going to be cloud hopping as our final challenge. And yes, this is a very, very short area, very short level. Uh, I think shorter than a lot of the missions in this game. And this is our final challenge here. We have some moving clouds. Go ahead and hop up them. Um, you're not in really any danger unless you get too close to the outside and somehow fall into the lava. But if you do fall down, you can land on the rocket nozzle box and take no damage anyway. But here we are, guys. As soon as I jump with the rocket nozzle, we will be at the final boss of Super Mario Sunshine. This Let's pay Play has been a year in the making. Let's finally finish it up. <laughs> the water's great, hey, Junior? Sure is, Papa. Come on in, Mama Peach. Uh, I think not. Mario! How dare you disturb my family vacation! Us ruin your family vacation, Bowser? <laughs> no, 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 you've got it all backwards. You see, this, the first and only vacation from saving Peach's sorry ass from your so-called evil clutches that we were supposed to take in our entire lives, has turned itself into total and utter hell. <laughs> Since arriving on this infernal island, we've endured nothing but torment, being falsely accused of defiling Isle Delfino, whose idiotic inhabitants are half the reason the place is messed up anyway, thrown in jail without a fair trial, assigned to clean up messes of unheard of proportions, forced to do battle with gigantic mutant flowers, huge caterpillars, and gambling addicted spirits from the beyond, pitted against a giant, fire-breathing, bullet-launching robot, armed with nothing but a squirt gun and a carnival ride, and forced to risk our lives for hundreds and hundreds of pieces of metal for a greedy raccoon who only likes them because they're shiny. We've gotten our butts burned, our bones bashed, ourselves singed, and, to say the least, more than our fair share of sunburn. But you want to turn us into the villains here, Bowser? You want us to seem like the ones ruining a family vacation? Then so be it. In that case, I can tell you one thing that's for sure, King of the Koopas. I'm eating turtle soup tonight. Alright, let's do this, guys, and I bet it comes as a shocker to not very many of you that Bowser is the final boss of this game, as he has been for many Mario games in the past. Now, first of all, it's, it's very important to note that there is a lot of crap going on in this battle. Uh, first of all, Bowser Jr. over there is in his little boat, and he's shooting all kinds of bullet bills at you, so be careful about them. There's actually a lot of them, and you can't destroy them to get coins if you're running low on health, I believe. But um, on top of that, when you hit these little pads with the super ground pound, which is actually the only way you can win this battle, 
all that goo will come flying out of the tub, and it will send you flying if it hits you. So be careful about that as well. Bowser will be breathing that fire, and normally he'll be doing it at you, but it looked like he wasn't aiming at me a second ago for whatever reason. There, now it goes. Doing it right. Somehow that didn't hurt me. You can blow it out with Flood if you really need to get past, and be sure, when you're doing these super ground pounds, not to step on the cracks that are created, because sometimes... Holy crap, that was a lot of goo. Uh, anyway, sometimes you can just fall through the cracks like a glitch, and there will be nothing you can do to stop it. But anyway, battle's already over. All overall, it's pretty easy. And yes, Flood, we did it. Fine. Junior, I've got something difficult to tell you about Princess Peach. I know, she's not really my mama. Someday, when I'm bigger... I wanna fight that Mario again. That's my boy, well put, son. The Royal Koopaline is as strong as ever. But for now, let's just rest a while. The vacation starts now. And I guess everything ended on a happy note, as Flood just hinted at, and here we have some postcards from Mario and the gang showing their actual fun part of their vacation. And wow, it's finally over, guys. <laughs> I can't believe it. I really can't. This has been almost a year in the making, as I said, but you know what? Despite what that artificial cutscene that I threw in earlier, or any of my commentary throughout this entire project that may have hinted at something otherwise, this has been really fun. It's been a boatload of fun. I absolutely love this game. It's one of my favorite Mario games of all time. Really close to me since my childhood, and I've had a lot of fun through it. Um, fastest place, ma fastest paced Mario platformer, as I've said many times. Uh, a lot of explorative content, which I really like. Freedom to the player. It's really fun. Really overhated. The flood concept. Okay, it differs a little bit from past Mario games, but you know what? It's fun. It's a nice addition. I love this game. That's really all I have to say about it. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank you guys for joining me throughout the duration of this project, however long and frustrating it may have been to wait for new parts or whatever. But thanks for sticking with me throughout it. I really appreciate all your guys' support. And um, we're going to see this game off with a few beautiful postcards. And I guess it's really fitting that after all this trouble and ire Mario's gone through, he finally gets the vacation he deserves. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time on another Let's Play.